Well, new tonight, it started with a disagreement over fries at a fast food restaurant. You've heard that before, haven't you? It turned into a police chase and a customer being tased. Fox 5's Denise Dillon tells us at the time, the customer was out on bond on murder charges. That's right, he was out on bond for the murder of a woman in Fulton County. Yet when he claimed his French fries were cold and got into an argument with the owner of this McDonald's, police say he didn't think twice about calling 911. I try to fry the fries, are, they're lukewarm, but they're not hot. Kennesaw police say that's what started an argument between this man, Antoine Sims, and the owner of this McDonald's. Next thing you know, he's mm -hmm. over his drink at me. The officer spoke with the owner who said this he was causing a scene, he was cursing at him, he threw a drink, and he wanted him to leave and to be issued a criminal trespass warning. It's a simple form that says, hey, just don't come back to this McDonald's. When officers put Sims' name into the computer, they learned he'd been in jail before. Wanted person, caution, violence. Sims was charged in the murder of a woman in Johns Creek in 2018. Her body was found inside a burning car. He ran from police then and was later captured by U.S. Marshals in Wisconsin. He was currently out on bond, but had a warrant out of Fulton County for failure to appear. You should come over here and have you sign this real quick. When police tried to give Sims the warning, he took off running. As soon as he runs away, the other officers begin to chase after him. They caught up with him in an apartment complex. An officer gives chase for a few seconds and tases him in the back where it hits his back and his leg and he immediately goes to the ground. And taser deployed! Taser deployed! Put your hands out! Put your hands out! Hands out! After complaining about his cold fries, this man, who already had murder charges against him, is now headed back to jail. It's very unusual that someone knowing that he is wanted by the police would call the police, but Mr. Sims did that. Sims is currently in the Cobb County Jail looking at charges of obstruction and other charges. He'll then be sent to the Fulton County Jail. In Kennesaw, Denise Dillon, Fox 5 News.